Hello, my people. It's the tree. Well, I'm starting to feel a little bit better. I'm um, redoing my whole room. My whole life right now, the only thing I'm doing, the most important thing I'm doing, the only thing that matters is for me to continue on my spiritual quest, my, my, to bring my spirit to life inside of me. Um, to raise my vibration high enough so that I can completely open those doors or windows or gates of communication, those portals, and be able to maintain them all the time without any um, uh, confusion or static, because static, sorry about my lisp again, it's my fake fingernail teeth. I look nice, oh huh? <laughs> no, anyway. I'm pretty proud of myself that I thought of that, but it always makes me lisp, so, um, <laughs> and then I got my fake weed that they sell at the, um, smoke shops. Get you really stoned. There was $25, and then the smoke shop across the street, um, I told them that much, then they got it, so I sold it to me for 15 then the other guy sold it to me for 12 and now the other guy sells it to me for 10 but I'm going to pretty quit doing that pretty soon, too. Um, <laughs> okay, so, my vibration, obviously, all of the emotions, like when Bohemian Grove was going on, and all the feelings and the emotions, all through time, really, the love that I have actually felt for you guys, and for this world, and for creation, has obviously, um, I've been able to raise my vibration high enough so that they heard me. That is why Inashiana broke herself off for me. Um, and that is why I'm now, um, well, I have what I need in order to um, communicate with the aliens and other dimensions, but really it's underneath the ocean. Um, but so my whole thing right now is, even though I have to be here at Dickhead Larry's, you know, you know, he don't really abuse me as long as I be quiet, as long as I don't leave the house, as long as I don't have friends, as long as I don't, um, uh, try to have or tell them about any of my dreams or fantasies or what I believe or how I feel and my miracle as long as I can keep all that you know just don't say anything or talk about it and just act like I'm completely bored or sleeping and as long as I'm in my room and cut off from society I don't really get abused too much but so in the meantime I'm going to have to make good of being here until um, I'm rescued by my earth kings I thought Chance, you know, when he found this, when he, when the stone had broke out in Ashiana, when I'd moved into the house, you know, with Lauren Chance, he's 15 years old, and then this broke off, but I didn't know it until a few hours later, and he told me about it later, and then um, he was really mystified by it, and then he named my picture for me, which I've been trying to find a name for this magic picture, but I just could not figure it out. I could not figure it out or do it. I mean, I knew it had a name or something that was supposed to be like activate and see when you look at this under the black light there's, it goes like way way more dimensions even deeper than what you can see right here but I don't have a black light anyhow so he ended up you know he was really mystified and saw this you know like whoa you know and I thought oh he's going to be the earth king and the earth prince you know and I was like the world's second chance and then after I told him he, he told me the name of the stone but I don't, can't remember it for the life of me but Anyhow, though, I told him that I didn't have a name for my picture, and that I was going to name my picture the same name as his stone, and I asked what the name was again, and he said, no, he goes, he goes, this, he goes, that's not her name, I go, her, my picture's of her, and this right here that broke off of Nashiana is a boy, now, I don't know if that actually happened, because as far as I was concerned, Nashiana was all girls, but he told me that this one was a boy, and anyhow, um, so he was all mystified by everything, and then he told, because I, I asked if I could name my picture the same name as his stone, and I asked him, because I gave it to him, and he said, no, th this is her name, Veritas, the goddess of truth, Now I'd never heard that in my life, I was like, whoa, but as soon as I did, I was like, oh my god, I could feel like, oh my god, all this information, a feeling of like, whoa, you know, and then, after that, he was not mystified anymore by anything. He wasn't mystical. He wasn't in touch with the other dimensions. He was until after he named my picture. 
And after that, he just went back to being a normal rotten kid. Not rotten, but kind of. <laughs> He's 15, so, you know. But anyhow, so he did not want this stone. He gave it back to me. Now, Brett Sturgis has helped me out so much. Even just um, a few days ago, you know, he sent me money so I could pay my rent again in my house and have food and, you know, do what I needed to do for, to survive. And I promised that this time I wouldn't buy drugs with it, and I didn't. I'm in my first week of withdrawal, so. But he's helped me before. But the, he's the only person that, that's actually helped me, you know. And a few times he gave me money to help me get out of my own, but then I'll get out of my own for a few weeks or whatever. And then when I start going through my withdrawals, then I can't function in society. And anyway, I. And yeah, he has helped me immensely. Brett Sturgis, he's in Georgia, and he said that he would come rescue me and take me out there and take, you know that, you know, and that he makes really good money and he take care of me and my dogs and stuff and. You know, I was like wanting to escape, and I was thinking, well, okay, you know, but then I thought, well, you know, I, I, I can't be in a situation with any man where it's like boy, girl, you know, like that. I mean, I'm just, I'm, that's not me. I'm married to my mission. I'm married to my creator, I'm married to the earth, I'm married to the ocean, I'm married to the solar system, the moon, this, anyhow, I'm married to my mission, and there's no way possible that I could put all my energy into one person that's supposed to be going out to the whole world, so as far as being um, available, I'm, I'm, been, I'm vulnerable right now because I'm in such a bad, I mean, I'm not able to, <laughs> anyhow, the money, the means, the ends, I still have not come across yet. And wherever that diamond ended up that I lost, I guess that's where hoop they need it more than I do. You know, I'm not mad about it. I just figure, well, anyhow, so this one right here that Chance gave me back, um, you know, <laughs> okay, but I hope you don't sell this, okay? Because you probably could get, you know, some serious cash for this, especially the clarity and the purity of it. I should talk about that again. Remember, I'm not supposed to talk about that. But now Enochiana is so hooked up <coughs> to me and stuff that anybody who would try to come to hurt us or steal her or do anything like that to steal the stone you know or try to sell it from what she told me she told me that somebody has offered somebody three hundred million dollars to get the stone from me but it's not for sale but somebody had had somebody is offering three hundred million dollars for somebody else to get the stone a Nasiana to him to them she told me I don't know who when where it don't matter it ain't gonna happen you know why because <coughs> <laughs> it just won't happen. It won't be able to. And plus, nobody else can wield the magic or harness the magic you can nash on it unless she chooses them. Okay. <clears throat> like, she broke this piece off. This piece broke off for Chance to pick up so that he could um, channel the name of my picture, which, um, Veritas, which I never heard of that in my life, you know. The goddess, he spelled it G-O-D-D-I-S-S of love. He, he wrote, or truth, I mean. He wrote that, um, this is the back of the picture, by the way. Look at how secret it is right now on the back and white. Isn't that true? Wow, I never looked at it like that before. Holy smoke. So anyhow, the reason for that was because now my magic picture, a magic artifact that had come to me, along with Nashiana within the next within the same week or so, um, all the filth can be decoded through the Ashiana and then to me. And then an Ashiana that my son and then turns out all of that cellophane, aqua marine, co aqua marine colored cellophane, I call it the cellophane aqua marine, but, um, she's like microfilm, <laughs> okay, and so I'm able to, now that this is decoded, because the activator, the name had to be written on it and activated it. And so now the codes in this are activated through my stones. Okay, and this one has already been charged and um, pure, you know, everything. This one is totally charged with the Nashiana. Um, whether you're able to receive the information or not from the stones themselves depends on your receptivity, your heart, because if your heart is not active, the love emotion, then it does not work. You cannot receive anything. And also, it can't, you can't trick, you can't trick Inashiana, um, because, um, 
the way that the communication goes on there is not from the words, it's from emotion. Words actually don't, don't have, they are important, but the emotion, the feeling behind what you say is how they read things, okay? And how the information is taken in and perceived. <coughs> and um, so if anybody tried to steal an Ashiana or, so, you know, anybody, in other words, I would know about it before it happened and be able to stop it. And also, uh, she told me, <laughs> Pee Wee, you know, the Hells Angel, that I guess, I don't know what happened to him, but if you guys know about what happened last summer with the Hells Angel here in Vegas, Pee Wee and me, and all that went down there, um, and, and the Hush Club, you know, where I worked, you know, which is connected with the Mafia, some people he'd introduced me to and got me a job at this place. Anyhow, um, what went down there, um, I have been shown that uh, them people right there are in the, in the lurking close and that there's some type of a... Uh, in other words, people coming somehow from connected to Pee Wee and the Hush Club that are intend to harm me or do something to me and that are coming close to that in the soon, you know, whatever, but it won't happen because now I know. <laughs> and so you it just can't touch this. <laughs> no. So so uh, my friend, Brett Sturgis, this little stone right here that I don't know the name, it won't I it told chance but it won't tell me but it's Equidacadoodle or Pekalaka. No, it's nothing like that. I have no idea. But something to do with the octopus. Okay, this is like connected to the octopus, which is underneath the ocean. And all the things that come out of the octopus, all those like tentacles that come out of it, actually have to do with an unraveled brain, a decoded brain, which has to do with Enoch, which has to do with genetic engineering and um, cloning and shit like that. But something to do with Enoch. And Enochiana is also the feminine version of Enoch. But... Um, so I don't think I'm going to be coming to Georgia, Brett. But thank you for willing, offering to take care of me, pay, giving me the money so I could pay my bills and helping me out, being a good friend. A good friend. I know you don't know what to do, and I hope you don't sell her because if you do, you know, it'll be, it'll just not be cool because you're going to find that there's more. She's worth much more by having her because she communicates with you and tells you things, and plus all the information that it has stored stored into her now whether you are able to receive it because it's all received psychically okay psychically or in dreams or through um, automatic writing you know if you're writing just all kinds of ways beyond the words um, uh, but this little stone here who I still don't know the name of the boy wants to be with you you Brett Sturgis the one who has been sending me money to help me out and I appreciate that you have really have you you've spent about sent me about four or five thousand dollars total in the past year and I'm so grateful, and you. And I just want you to know that in Ashana, well, this little one, that's a boy, I don't know his name, but do, 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 that'll be up to you. He'll tell you the name. So this is for you, and I will send this to you um, with insured, I'll insure it in the shipping, make sure nobody steals it. She will totally be protected, but this is for you. And I will have this to you by Christmas, okay? Merry Christmas. Right now I'm redoing my room and and everything, so... Later on tonight, I will be able to bring you into the magic garden. <laughs> no. Um. Oh, God. Oh, that made me think of Leo. I wasn't trying to sing that song. <laughs>